Here is why a college degree in finance is completely worthless in the real world. A college degree gets people trapped into traditional thinking and they can't think outside the box, but I'm going to prove him wrong and show why I'm right using the infinite banking strategy. Let's say that we wanted to go out and buy the new Ford Lariat MSRP. We'll just round it up and say $100,000. Let's say that we finance this amount right here for $100,000 for an 84 month loan. And let's say that it costs us 7% to borrow against our policy we would end up paying $26,000 of interest. Now let's say that my whole life policy was only earning 5%. So with that same $100,000 principal over the course of seven years growing at just 5%, I actually gained almost $41,000 of interest. By financing my truck through my infinite banking policy, not only did I come out ahead $15,000 of interest, but guess what? I still have the $100,000 on my personal balance sheet because I didn't end up transferring that money away from my personal economy by paying cash for a depreciating asset. And why does it work this way? It has everything to do with the math on compound interest versus amortized loans. Even though the rate is smaller, each year the compound interest is calculated on an ever increasing asset. So your compound interest account is gonna come out way ahead. He should have known this because remember, he has a BS in finance and he knows the math. For more information on how the infinite banking strategy works, click the link above in my bio for a free class. It's about 20 minutes, seven modules. It'll help make you an expert on all things infinite banking.